resolution of a vector into two components two component vectors in arbitrary direction let a vector a is acting along oa and vector a is represented by the straight line oa in magnitude and direction and uh, in op direction a1 is a component vector and uh, a vector a is also resolved into another component vector a2 along oq let a vector vector a acting along oa acting along oa be resolved into two component vectors resolved into two component vectors component vectors vector a1 and vector a2 along the direction op and oq respectively vector a is resolved into vector a1 along op and vector a2 along oq alpha be the angle at which uh, vector a acts with vector a1 and beta is the angle subtended by vector a with vector a2 alpha and beta be the angles be the angles at which vector a acts with vector a1 and vector a2 respectively with the component vectors vector a1 and vector a2 such that alpha plus beta not equal 90 degree and uh, vector a2 is not perpendicular is not perpendicular to vector a1 is not perpendicular to vector a1 that is vector a2 is not perpendicular to the com another component vector a1 now vector a1 magnitude of vector a1 is equal to magnitude of vector a sin beta divided by sin alpha plus beta therefore a1 equal to a sin beta divided by sin alpha plus beta this is what uh, this is the magnitude of component vector magnitude of component vector component vector which acts which acts at an angle alpha with the given vector a with the given vector vector a here for the expression of a1 alpha is the angle subtended by Uh, the vector a with a1 but here in the numerator we have to consider beta beta divided sin beta divided by sin alpha plus beta for a1 we have to consider the angle beta in the numerator similarly a2 equal a sin alpha divided by sin alpha plus beta for though 
vector a to x at an angle beta with vector a but in the numerator we should consider sin alpha and in the denominator we have sin alpha plus beta. So this is the magnitude of component vector magnitude of component vector component vector which acts at an angle beta with vector a with the given vector vector a so this are the formula of magnitude of two rectangular components two components two component vectors now how to prove this formula so in this case uh, vector a is represented by uh, the straight line OA alpha is the angle between a and a1 and beta is the angle between vector a and vector a2 and uh, we extend vector a in the backward direction so this is the uh, OZ is the direction along which minus vector a acts and we know that magnitude of minus vector a and magnitude of vector a will be same let minus vector a acts along oz opposite to in the opposite direction in the opposite direction in a direction opposite to vector a according to Lamy's theorem according to Lamy's theorem comma the system that is a body at the point two will be in equilibrium will be in equilibrium under the action of vector a1 comma vector a2 and minus vector a minus vector a if provided mod vector a1 divided by sine equal mod vector a2 divided by sine of angle of sine of angle then magnitude of minus vector a divided by sine something now if we consider vector a1 then in the denominator we have to consider the angle between other two vectors that means we have to consider the angle between a2 and minus vector a so this angle is 180 degree minus beta 180 degree minus beta so in the denominator we have to write sine 180 degree minus beta now for vector a2 we have to consider the angle between vector a1 and ve minus vector a that angle is 180 degree minus alpha this angle is uh, 180 now for minus vector a we have to consider the angle between vector a1 and vector a2 that's why we have to write in the denominators as sin alpha plus beta therefore a1 divided by sin beta because sin 180 degree minus beta is plus sin beta and a2 divided by sin alpha and magnitude of minus vector a is equal to a and sin alpha plus beta should be divided 
So if we consider first and third relation that is a1 by sin beta equal a by sin alpha plus beta. Hence uh, we get what a1 as a sin beta divided by sin alpha plus beta. This is the magnitude of the component vector vector a1 which acts at an angle alpha but the, in the denominator we have sin beta and if we consider the second relation then uh, again a2 by sin alpha equal a by sin alpha plus beta. Therefore a2 equal a sin alpha divided by sin alpha plus beta. So uh, what is the main concept of Lamy's theorem? According to Lamy's theorem, magnitude of a vector, magnitude of a vector divided by sine angle between other two vectors sine angle between other two vectors remains constant that is magnitude of a vector divided by sine angle between other two vectors remains constant remains constant so vector a1 and vector a2 are the rectangular components for vector a1 we have to consider the angle between vector a2 and minus vector a 